Hi guys, Ape here of the Pocketbot Collective. And today we will have a look at Unique Toys Shunk and Beta. Better known as Skull Cruncher and Hardhead. These are their alt modes. Here is Hardhead with the gun on top. Nice tread treads. They don't roll or anything. But it's a, a very fun little Cybertronian tank, I guess. It does open up. So his headmaster can ride in there. There we go. And has his little cannon on top. Nice paint, nice details. In my opinion, a lovely little Cybertronian tank mode. As for Skull Cruncher, here he is. Also nicely detailed and painted. Has his little cockpit up there for the headmaster to sit in. There's a little bit of gapage there, but that is okay. He can actually move his legs. There's a little pivot and ball joint in there. This can pivot. Ball joint there at the shoulder. Hinge there. It's got a decent amount of articulation. Jaw can close. He can look up a little bit. He can't look down. But this whole assembly is also on a swivel. So it can turn. There we go. Now, what do these guys come with? We've got a box. Instructions. Handheld weapons for each robot, and of course their little heads, the headmasters. Now, quick look at the box here. I love the unique toys artwork. It's part of their palm collection. This is number or set number two, Shunk and Beta. One side. It's difficult when lifting up the camera. There's the other side. Uh, bottom bits. And then on the back, some actual product shots. There we go. Then we have a little set of instructions. These guys are not that hard to do. Nothing on the back. There we go. A little rifle for skull cruncher. Just nicely sculpted, no paint. And then two rifles for hardhead. Both the same. Well sculpted. No paint. Then, of course, their little headmasters. Here is Skull Cruncher's headmaster. Is he called Grax? I think. There you go. A very tiny headmaster. And there is his robot mode. <laughs> Just a double hinge that folds him over, which means you can't put him in it sitting position if you want to nicely painted there we go and of course we have hardheads head master also very nicely done and same system a little double hinge that unfolds him and he is also nicely painted on the face. Now before we continue with these guys, I want to do a little comparison for them. There we go. This is them compared to a 
Vecma Studios Headmaster, which is technically my fans' toys. They uh, knocked off and upscaled some of these guys. A standard Hasbro um, Titans Return Headmaster. And a Generation 1 Headmaster. And you can see there's a bit of a size difference in these guys. <laughs> they are tiny. So forgive the limited amount of articulation on them. But that's as far as the Headmasters go. Now, as far as interaction goes. Let's bring in their transtectors. What you do. Is just you don't actually even put them in a um, knee bent position but you just put them in a sitting position and I think it's the same for this guy open up that cockpit hold on the guns a little bit in the way there we go open up the cockpit just drop them in there See? Close it back up. And then we can arm up the tank. You can also put the other guns on there if you want to. There we go. Sorry, out of focus. There we go. And of course, we can do the same thing for this little guy. Also, just drop him in there. Close it up. And there we go. All right, as far as transformation goes, we will start off with Hardhead. And there you have him that is hard head transformed like I said easy simple transformation fun to do <laughs> and he looks great no gaps whatsoever just a little backpack but what do you expect he's an awesome little bot all armed up as well these guys are quite a few years old already so there's no um, no head rotation or anything, it just slots in there, as you saw. Ball joints, ball joints, ball joints, hinge at the knee. So he can go out, forward and back all the way. And the knee is just 90 degrees and then there's a, a foot tilt but no ankle tilt so to say. There we go. And what is cool? Oh, by the way, you can put this on either side, as you desire. And what is cool, my uh, sorry, um, Unique Toys built in a little tech readout. Not that it does anything whether you remove the head or not, but it is cool as a detail that it is in there. So there we go. We will also get Skull Cruncher transformed. And then we'll do some size comparisons.
there you go. That is him transformed. Bring in his little head. Stick it in the top. And he is done. Also a very cool looking little figure. Like the way he transforms, he's a bit more involved. And he's a little bit gap here. Also he has that cockpit just hanging there. I mean you can put it up a little bit. Which means he has a bigger backpack. I don't mind it down there. His um, tail, the crocodile tail, splits into two halves to form a weapon. You can put them in either hand if you want, or put them, leave them together as a sort of a mace or a club, whatever you like. No head articulation on this one either. Shoulders are on a hinge with a ball joint inside, ball joint at the elbow, legs. Same ball joint as hard head. We get him out and back all the way. Knee is on a ball joint this time, so it has a bit more articulation to it. And ankle rocker. And this one can stabilize the foot. There we go. He also has his tech readout. You probably saw it during transformation, which is under there. Very nicely done, in my opinion, especially for how old these guys are by now. So, let's get both of them in here. Adjust the camera a little bit for their robot modes. And let's do some size comparisons. Shall we go backwards now? Skull Cruncher first. There we go. Next to Iron Factory's runabout. Pretty much the same size, as you can see. And here he is with Weird Wolf. Also by Unique Toys. And Apeface. Also by Unique Toys. Oh, and maybe we'll bring in DX9's Galvatron as well. There we go. That's a good little bunch, isn't it? Alright, let's get them out of the way. And do a similar comparison for Hardhead. We can bring in Core Class Prime. You can see Hardhead is slightly taller, but just a little bit. Here he is with Unique Toys Chrome Dome and also Unique Toys Highbrow. Let me swap them around. There we go. Also a good little bunch, in my opinion. Let's take them out of the picture as well. There we go. That is pretty much it for Unique Toys, Hardhead, and Skull Cruncher. Um, forgot to say, they also have Waste Swivel. You probably saw that on Skull Cruncher already. No Ab Crunch. And also Waste Swivel on Hardhead here. So, yeah. Um, for me, I love these guys. I like uh, the early DX9 and Unique Toys Legend class figures for the way they look and uh, the simplicity in their transformation. The nice sturdy figures hold up very well, very poseable. Yes, some things are a little bit dated by now, like not having a head swivel or anything. But, in my opinion, they still hold their ground. Alright, that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ape out!